Hey everybody, welcome to getting started with WP Offload F S3. We're going to set up Amazon Web Services here properly, uh, set up a bucket and a user and really lock it down so that uh, things are nice and secure. So first thing to do is go to aws.amazon.com and click on sign in to the console in the top right. And if you haven't created an AWS account yet, you can click on I am a new user and go through the steps to create to, and set up your account. You'll need a credit card information uh, at one point and you'll also need to verify your account by phone at one point. So uh, just be aware of that. Um, anyway, I've already done this and so I can actually go ahead and get started. So I can log in and if you go to first, let's let's create our bucket. So if you go to S3, it's like the fourth item on the left here. And let's create a bucket. So I have a fictional website called Sandwich City. And so I'm going to call my bucket Sandwich City WP dash. Yeah, that. And we'll just use the default region and we'll create our bucket. And that's that. And now go up here to services and find, go into uh, administration and security and click on I am. So this is the identity and access management section of the AWS console. And click on users. And we're going to create a new user. And I'm going to call this user Sandwich City. WP uh, S3 and make sure you keep this click uh, this checked generate an access key for each user and we can go ahead and create that user and this will create some an access key ID and a secret access key and you will need these later on for the plugin the plugin will ask you for these so definitely download them uh, download the CSV or copy and paste them keep them somewhere uh, for later so let's close that and so we have our new user here so if we click on that user and what we have to do now is attach a policy because right now this user has no privileges whatsoever and so you know, you can create policies with with groups and, and all this stuff but we're just going to attach a policy or permissions to this one user so go down to inline policies and uh, to create one click here and we're going to choose custom policy and we're going to select that and now we're going to go to our quick start guide documentation and we're going to scroll down and there's a sample policy here so we're just going to copy that and paste it here into our policy document and we, we have to name the policy as well. So let's call it Sandwich City WP. And we'll just call it WP. Uh, and that should be good. So let's apply that policy. So now if we open that CSV file, uh, we can find our, our access key uh, and secret key in here. So we'll copy those into uh, Transmit which is just an FTP program, but they also have uh, an S3 connection. So I can just test connecting to S3 with this user. And so placed in the secret here. And if I try connect, it should connect. And there you have it. I've got access to all the buckets in my S3, uh, in, in, on S3 in my account, which is not ideal. Uh, what you really want, we want to restrict this user to only this bucket, the Sandwich City WP bucket. And so what we can do is we can alter our policy here. So let's edit that policy and let's go to our quick start guide. There's another example down below here of how we can restrict it just to our bucket. And so let's copy that into here and we have to update this bucket name to actually it's the same as that. So we'll put that in here. So sandwich city WP, sandwich city WP, and apply that policy. 
And now when we go to transmit and let's try connect again, it says access denied because I'm trying to connect to like the main S3, uh, like the root of S3. So we have to, instead we have to connect to the bucket. So if we connect to that, there we have it. We're able to connect into the bucket and it's restricted to that bucket. And so there you go. That's how you can set up your user uh, on Amazon Web Services and, and set up your bucket for WP Offload S3.